Son of Beast, and Terry Crews here. This is another game of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Now we're ready to sink you down to the Western Conference game as the Nuggets are taking on against the Dallas Mavericks. And this part of the game, it happens to be LD shutting down two games a mile high. But now, he's looking to see if he can get three in a row for his team to make the extension. But at this point, it might be what they're going for. If their take is on beyond between Denver or Dallas. And for the final of the commentary for this for this game, I will have as Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Barry with or Clark Kellogg. And then it will be David Aldridge on the, on the court side for tonight's game. And we'll see you all later back after the final quarter of the game. Let's get you down to American Airlines Center and get started. Let's roll! Max Nuggets, come in! Let's give it this game team of the Knights game, Denver Nuggets. And shooting guard, Davis Carwell Pope. That's ball forward, Michael Porter Jr. At the other full position, Aaron Gordon. At the other full guard position, Paul Murray. And at center guard position, Nikola Jokic. The head coach for the Denver Nuggets to the team, Mike Malone. Murray against Dungeon. Murray kicks to Gordon. Trying 
the answer back, but that three is off the mark. On the wing, Jones. Back to Kirby. Murray against Dutchish. Back to Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Washington. Out to Dutchish. It is now to Irving. Here's Washington. And Reeves, Jerry, Washington. To Kyrie Irving's great instincts. He's got a terrific mind for the game. Doris, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Kevin, I think their ownership has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. And the rejection by Paper. Really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. To the middle, here's Jokic. Terrific. Big to the Jokic. Jokic. Solid play all around. Sometimes he seems to be indestructible with the finishes he can make. Jokic is a force down low. And he gets the Coming out. The long bird. He's the first person to walk by. First team foul. Nicole Jokic. Three of the Mavericks. Who did that? They've done a good job surrounding the line the right kind of players. Guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. Free throw good from Doncic. Luka Doncic has already established himself as a perennial candidate for MVP. He controls the game with the basketball in his hands. He is an incredible driver, and he makes the game easy for the guys around him. All free throws good from Doncic. Here's Murray. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. He kicks it to Caldwell Pope. I don't can look here for Murray. That the one's ball Murray. the corner. Assist this is why you're looking to do. Can your best score something within the flow of the offense? Donchich looking it over. On the wing, Irving. Doncic outside. Dallas moving the ball around. Pass down. Stopper. You pay three of your first four. The Nuggets trail by three. Murray outside. That's his second score in his second basket. He's two for two. And inside Murray's attacking mentality pays off. He just works hard to find his own shot. Washington against Gordon. Pass to Doncic. And here is Gafford. And it goes to Daniels. Gafford. Passing ability complements Irving scoring so well. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Denver. It's a three-point game. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. For Dallas, they've gone four or five from the field so far. Doncic kicks to Irving. Back to Doncic. Luga! Doncic! But boy, when Luka is ready to throw it down, he relishes it. Nuggets time out. First of the game for the Nuggets, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, if you like comebacks, then it was a great one to watch, but they were unfortunately on the losing end and they were never able to recover after that horrible third quarter.
Now, I know what you're thinking right now here, Terry, because this one is Denver and Dallas. They're both for a little bit of a clutch in between the most two from the Western Conference of us two. But the final of it is, the yeah, improvement is not even turning like what they are expecting it to play for. And for a regular season, they were really are trying to like leave them off to a target for now. But the most of occasionally is not really turning to be what they're all expecting it for. Popping it in here wasn't really easy at all. And because of this point, they really are trying to like stagger it together. It doesn't mean that they don't really improve to anybody who has that really importance. Do you think this will happen if there's any concerns with them? I don't know if they would. Because of that point, I just don't really see anyone who really keeps it out there for a longer second period of time. And because of the Mavericks or the Nuggets, it's definitely not really always yet impossible enough. Let's hope there is. We might have to figure it another way. There's a chance solution. Let's get back to Kevin. Now we get a chance to check out Nikola Jokic. His last 10 games have been exceptional. And don't forget top five in the league in points per game. He's a premier offensive threat night in and night out. And as you said, one of the league's top three rebounders. He has an instinct for how the shot's going to come off that rim. That's special. And the one two to corral. The put back. It's rebounded by Doncic. Dallas beaten by five. Pass to Irving. And here is Gaffer. Guarded by Porter. The shot. Gaffer! Kyrie Irving! It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And usually one of the league winners in field goal percentage doors, Daniel Gaffer. What a solid contributor. Michael Porter Jr. for three points. So, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. And here is Doncic. After Michael Porter made the last three-pointer. Doncic passes to Jones. Now, here's Gafford. And place now the first one. Offensive foul. Kyrie Irving. His fourth personal foul. It's a position role, but a change for the first team Mavericks. Number 10, there, Hardaway Jr. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal shot is set. Here's what Dan did. Live in a second. Zignaggi is checked in for Jokic. Christian Brown comes in for Gordon. And Reggie Jackson is up in for Caldwell Pope. Back to Murray. This is a Tanaji. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth rebound at that last one here tonight. Irving kicks to Doncic. Back to Irving. Luka, is single by six. Jackson down low. It's covered by Irving. And they get it back. Here's Brown. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got rebound number five here tonight. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 156 left in the first quarter. Hardaway passes to Lively. Count that play. Lively is passing. Dave Hardaway Jr. Offensively. Denver's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Three play. Three play. Porter against Cleveland. And that one's good. Michael right, well, Porter Jr. Porter's got five points so far. Well, you know, Porter can expect this. He can say, going to try to be physical with him. Try to get in his head. Doncic against Murray. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Back to Doncic for Murray. Doncic, no good. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense back. Stop. They're lively in a second. His first was a little foul. Second team foul. Jimmy Bernanke. Jimmy Bernanke. Jamal Murray. Three shots. Three 
right away they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. Yeah, their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And the first one at the line is good. A different look for Dallas. So the digital for the Mavericks, number zero. And it's Hardy and Bridge. Excellent. And the switcher also for Denver. Watson's checked in. And number one, Josh Hardy. And so Murray nails both of them. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Exum kicks the heart away. And the pass to Lively. Dallas moving the ball around. Over to the wing. Hardy passes to Cleveland. A nice three! Shot the basketball. Pass to Watson. Here's Brown. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Watson surveying the D. Two free throws coming. Dallas foul. Hell, excellent. He's for a little foul. Second team foul. Well, not you and your number two the game. Yeah, Pat wants it. On the line for two. Number seven, D.Y. Powell. Good on the second free throw. 16 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Now, here's Hardy. To the right side. Action with it. Up in time. And so it's the That's the end of the first quarter. With the six point Dallas Mavericks. 22. Because of Denver Nuggets. 16. Of good shots. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. is where we're at right now. And what do you think, guys, about Dallas here in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Well, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be tracking cops. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. Contagious Caldwell Pope is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Crawford in at the three, the small forward. Mavericks leading by six. To the left wing. Exum gets to Washington. Pass to Hardy. Five to shoot. Here's Exum. It's good. He makes his first shot. Exum. Eight times have we seen a possession like that from them today. Ending with a basket. Coming off a pretty pass. Here's Crawford. And good all time. How about that pass from Reggie Jackson? Right on the money, folks. Pass to 
Jackson. And here's Harvey. From 17 feet out, he'll get cracked for miss. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his yeah, Gordon. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly yes, this throw with the Reggie ball. Jackson. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Kevin, thank you. Nicola Jokic amazed his teammates with his vision. Aaron Gordon says he's a basketball genius. He plays it like chess, seeing it three steps ahead. You've always got to keep your eye on him when he has the ball because he'll find you. Even if you don't think you're open, you're open. He's a point guard, just in a center's body. Kevin? <laughs> that is very true. David, thanks. Here's Crawford to the inside. Jokic. Things get it. Take a long Jokic. 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 Crawford. Straight high percentage look. The defense has allowed. The defense has got to start putting bodies on by. Passes it to Hardy. Kicks to X. Just five on the clock. Gals, no good that time either. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Here's Crawford. Here's Jokic. Nikola Jokic. A great effort. Yes. Why not Max? For well, that loose ball, Joker continues to attack the offensive lines. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? So we're nearing down the halfway mark right now in the first half as we're ready to have our halftime show. He'll be coming up here for the next part of the game as you've got Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chef O'Neill as we're ready to see how this one is, comes up. But a little bit of a tight force between Denver and Dallas in game three. But what will they happen? Are they out striping here for the Mavericks? Or are they or just picking their way up in to try to get over Denver Nuggets? We'll see what happens, how they will do keep that back in the line. And I'll find out if another change goes real. Well, hopefully there is. I mean, can't lose at all if you know how to shoot it right away. Now back to Kevin Arlen for a re clock resume for the game. And the some changes. Daniel Gaffer's checked in for the line call. Kyrie Irving comes Now he's a position for the Mavericks. Just sub in. Look at Pop Gitch. Michael Porter. Kyrie Irving. Come on, number 11. Jamal Murray comes in for Reggie Jackson. Number 21, Daniel Gepper. He's got five. And number eight, Josh Green. Green kicks to Doshic. To end the cold streak. Josh Green. And the Mavericks. Luka Doncic. It's one of the best things about playing with Luka Doncic. He creates a lot of open looks. Gordon deciding where to go with him. It's just a call well poke. Back to Gordon. That one goes. Gordon's, Gordon's got it all tied up now for the Nuggets. Yeah, uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production. Green dishes to Doncic. From outside the arm. Caldwell Pope, he brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. He dishes it to Merle. Jokic, Jokic on the ball. Jokic. Jokic. Ten points for him. They are not mad. Killing them all on the interior. And the Mavericks call time here. This was a little bit of like a top of the angle, so you may have an idea of what's going on. Mavericks have never known it's a really like a tight team. Uh, I'm pretty sure it might be. I don't know if this will ever change. This is a sad It's just what they all don't do. 
I need that back in the game, man, because they know how to, like, contest it. For every single one along the way, they need to have to find another way to get this one separated off. So as I mentioned right now, if you're fans, if you like to check, choose which team you wanted to go for, it's your call between the NBA 2K24 Open Picks for a new season of the NBA 2K25. That'll be happening here for season nine. So now it's your turn to figure it out who will take. Remember, it's on July 17th and the 18th for NHL 25 and for NBA 2K24. Has to be another change off right in the air away. So choose wisely and get it for the end. First half almost closed. Let's go back to Kevin Arlen. Let's go down to the 2K leaderboard for a look at some players that have gotten only better as the season's gone on. The top scoring small forwards since the All-Star break. Fifth on the list, Michael Porter. A lot of the NBA's most explosive players man that small forward position, and you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. Well, that's putting it mildly. The offensive firepower they're packing is superb, and their talent runs the gamut. They can hurt you inside, long range, anywhere in between. They're all just too tough to stop. Now, here's Dodgich. He has something. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just must face it. He whiffs on that. Jokic kicks to work. Back to Jokic. Jokic! Luka! Good luck, Jokic. That's how you execute. You this is on. Curry. The ball broke. job of getting it to his teammate. Defensive foul on the Denver. Aaron Gordon. His first personal foul. How about the Phoenix team foul? And the line for Dallas Mavericks. Curry Irving. Phenomenal head of line for one. Hey, Kevin, if you ask any NBA player who their favorite to watch is, many will come up with the name Kyrie Irving. It's the ability to have that elite handle, the footwork, the creativity. The ability to shoot a jumper, the pull up, the lay in. This guy is absolutely amazing. What's up? That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. When it's all said and done for Kyrie, the handle, the creativity, and the big shot making always will stand out. Outside Porter floats it up for Jokic. And the reception by Gafford. To the paint, here's Hardaway. And no good. Ice D from Porter. Nuggets have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Here's Jokic. Good. Big low, Jokic. The Mavericks have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Conchins passes to Gaff. Daniel! To Gaffbrook! Now Luka Doncic! Boy, what a feel Luka Doncic brings to the game. This guy always willing to get his teammates involved. Here's Brown. Oh, and then it's Brown. Question powered it down. There, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right, and what the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Here's Dutchich. Denver getting their last shot to go. Shot clock at five. Gather misses. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Porter, bounce pass. Here's Brown. Goes up and lays it. Brown. Brown. Timeout. Mavericks. Long out for Denver. And they repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And it's made off. And the Mavericks call time here. One of the stories here, Jokic getting it done today. He's just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. And with this timeout, they've got to make some adjustments because he's been steady inside. And let's say this. Luka Doncic, playing for Real Madrid and his debut in 2015. 
the biggest part of the game here that happened to be in the Euro League section. And for Nikola Jokic in Serbia, has played here for a longest way. Better of his FIBA World Cup sport. Has never seen anyone that does like that. But all that happened is, he's been accommodating for every single longest step of the way. He's trying to let him go through it. The bigger lead off, the better pickoff play, it's just anybody's game. He's really trying to work on his effort, but hopefully, the maintaining of the process won't be enough to take in there if he does more. Let's find out if he does. Uh, hopefully, there might be a number change up, and you'll see in just around the corner. Back to you, Kevin. Halftime show, coming up next. Now checking in for the now checking in for Ray Dallas Mavericks. Derek Jones Jr. with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by two. Five feet a second. For the three. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. On the wing, Jones. He's covered by Watson. Back to Irving. Oh, Kyrie Irving! Down for him so far. Kyrie Irving is lighting it up right now, just letting everybody see every aspect of skill to his game. Here's Murray. Count that one. The ball, Murray. He's got 10. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Murray against Irving. Pass to Gaffney. Out of bounds. It was a like ball. Gafford. Gafford. He's traditional for Denver Nuggets. Robert Nagy. Hey, what? What's it? Great squirrel. Denver in the lead. And Randy Jackson. Jackson looking it over. Plenty of space. Nagy, no good. I didn't see that this coming. I mean, he's usually been money. This first half has been about as tightly congested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. So that's the, the end of the first half. Now it's Mavericks. 40 points. The Denver Nuggets. It's time to Forty. the court side as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? with everything that we do uh, and making sure that when we call a set we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? What a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He had 13 points, 5 assists, and 1 rebound. It's been quite a night so far for him. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball. And I can give a shout out to the players. This team's success is because of you, brother. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. It's pretty simple. They took care of the ball, they made small passes, and they made a couple of the I'm sure they talked about it from the team. We'll see if they can keep it tight in the second half. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one can go down to the last possession. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. And those extra chances mean so much. And 
Right. He has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. Really putting his handprint on this game. You love the hustle, you love the work ethic he has had on display. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. P.J. Washington is out there with Daniel Gaffney. Then there's Harden, and it's Jones, and it's Irving into two guards. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Hardy passes to Irving. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight. Michael Warriors Jr. A great competitive game so far. Long move. This one could go right down to the wire. Now, here's Harden. Still scoreless. Here's Washington. B.J. Washington. As soon as you can see that shot and his response is, thank you very much. Murray looking around. Here's Porter. That's in there. Michael Porter Jr. Porter's got nine points. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Over Porter, and good. That thing was that. That was Jones. Junior! Jones has got his first two points of the night. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are down. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Now here's Murray. He's got ten. Five on the clock. Porter kicks to Gordon. Shoots over Washington, and it's Gordon missing. Mavericks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Harden. That's to Irving. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Gordon. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Right side, Porter. Over Gafford. No good from the wing. The Mavericks leading. Inside. Jokic with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. Ravius throwing all the ball. He's in attack mode. And KCP with the athleticism to do it. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Here's Jones. Nice D from Porter. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And boy, to have someone back there who can embrace Michael Porter Jr. Big time assist from Paul Murray. Chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Wow, go, back. It's Jones on the way. Guarded by Porter. Back to Washington. Irving for three. Kyrie for three. I'll tell you, airtight defense can't be better. Kyrie Irving, tremendous poise in the face of it. On here now for an injury report. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge for an update on Luka Doncic. David. Kevin, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Dallas. He told me that he bruised his rib. He's got a pretty good mark on you. You know what you Thank you, David. Hopefully, we'll see him very soon. And the Mavericks with possession here, following the three-point attempt by Jokic. Gafford inside. He's against Jokic. Here's Irving. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Dallas has run a terrific five of six from beyond the arc in this game. Here's Washington. Pass it to Gaffer. Daniel! Shepard! Gaffer's got DJ Washington. He has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Thank you, Jokic. And a wide open look for Porter. Off target from outside. Well, he 
behind Soares Jackson who brings it up for the Nuggets. Four point game. High arcing shot. That one doesn't go. Nice D from Doncic. Pass to Wively. It's rebounded by Naji. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break. Ten minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Now here is Hardaway. Following the miss by Michael Porter. Jackson's got his first points of the game. Mavericks leading by four. Pass to Lively. And Brown pulls it down. Jackson against Dutchich. Jackson misses. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Doncic kicks to Kleba. Maxi Kleba for three. Doncic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Luka Doncic. Three, five. Three seconds left in the first quarter. Michael Porter Jr. Five points. Let's go to two. Let's go to two. Let's go to two. Give Porter a chance to dunk it. Then think twice about it. Over Jackson. And Luka! Go That mid-range shot because that's what the defense offered up to him. Three, Here's Jackson. It's good. Reggie Jackson. Four points now in the quarter. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. He kicks the quarter. Just five to shoot. Launches a three. And that would have been. That's the end of the first quarter. This time. Dallas match. The end of the 60. It's Dallas. Never done it. 55. After a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Looks like it's a close game. The next one will win. We'll find out who will take it in after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports. And let's get a glimpse of the coaching going on inside the huddle. Stop and run. Stop and run. That's an urgency, man. Come on. We, we got to get this win. Trying to stoke the fire under his team. Mike Malone asking his guys to seize the moment. And this is the time when the leaders on the court need to step up, take control, and make things happen. And Davis, Darwell, oh. He breaks the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. So on the floor for them, the guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Watson in the small forward. Now, here's Doncic, and here's Washington. DJ Washington! For three! Doncic has got his... Look at Doncic! Doncic against Murray. to Caldwell Pope. Now, here's Watson. Started by Hardaway. You have to look the tenacity, but also the awareness to make sure he came away with that ball. Washington finds Dutchich. Back to Washington. Murray against Dutchich. To the middle. Washington. Shot is 
Gordon. Gordon. It's been down down six down six points and then that's no, no, Gordon. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Now, oh, here's Dutchich. That's the pop. Over Jokic. And a there you are. Howells. Howells got the lead up to eight now for the man. Really crucial that Powell knocks down these mid-range jumpers. It allows the big loss. Jokic. Assisted by Paul Murray. He's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Murray against Dutchich. Watson for three. Offensive rebound. Minso Powell will bring it up for Dallas. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Pass to Washington. Outside Irving. Back to Washington. Shot from the top of the key. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic just got 11 rebounds in the game. Good one, guys. Jane gets four ball ball. All well, Pope's got four points this quarter. Yeah, and knifing into the middle. Call well, Pope, not just a perimeter thread. Young fella can elevate. It's a nice pass in here by Dallas. Doncic, bounce pass. And this is it to Washington. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Takes the 13th. Hardaway gets a junior. And the Mavericks lead by eight. How about the timing from Hardaway Jr. looking very comfortable taking shots after catching the pass? Murray the pass to Jokic. To the inside. Watson. Lee Bass was very close to the right spot. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Dallas leading by six. Now, here's Dutchich. The pass to Irving. Tigers from deep. It's all in by the Nuggets. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Watson kicks to Murray. Watson, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Jokic. Take a look. Jokic. Assisted from. King Bolton. Very Pope. potent score. Timeout Mavericks. He has been focused so far in this one. Dallas calls timeout. They've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that play. They've got to tighten it up. That's a couple of our next games. That's what will be happening here for Western Conference for Game 4. The first game will be happening here for the Thunders. They will be facing on against the upper team of the Minnesota Timberwolves. That will be happening with the first game coverage starting at 3.30 p.m. That will be the first game that will be happening here. And then later for tonight, it will be happening with the other side of the game. Because we've got another matchup for you. Of the Mavericks facing against the other team of the... Denver Nuggets on high. That'll be happening here with another game that's starting at later tonight. Sorry, the first game is happening at 6.30 p.m. And the other game's happening here at 9.30 p.m. That'll be all games here with only two. And three games will be happening with the first one of NHL. And the second one will be the Heat facing against the Cavaliers. That'll be the later tonight and after the Celtics and the Knicks at the Garden. That'll be at 7.30 p.m. Now back to you, Kevin. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic. Yeah, this percentage from the field today seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Daniel Gafford comes in for Dwight Powell. And it's Jared Jones in for Kyrie Irving. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge.
David. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. Now, his perspective was to play like we're behind. He said, that's the energy we need right now. We no! in the building. Both of these teams pouring it off. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Now, here's Poloco. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Pass to Gafford. Over Jokic. Gafford misses. The Nuggets trail by six to the paint. Jokic, here's a little Jokic. And, and really keeping the ball. Timeout, Mavericks. Your offensive. Dallas calls timeout. So again, that will be the NHL. The first part of the game will be all for the Tampa Bay Lightning fixing against the Carolina Hurricanes. The first part of the game that will be happening here at 3:30 p.m. Then the second game will be happening with the Knicks facing against the Celtics. That's another game happening here at 7:30 p.m. And then the last game will happen with the only thing that happens here in the Southeast is the Cavaliers facing against the Heat. That'll be all the games here at 8.30 after the game on the Western Conference of Game 4. And then the other one on the other side, the Eastern Conference, Game 4 is also. But I was really upset about who the dog is. He wasn't really playing that on the second quarter to have to finish off. But it seemed like the third quarter, he said it's like he's okay right now. But you talk to one of the medical rooms, he's fine. But I don't know if he's going to make it. I think he will. I sure enough he will do anyway. Well, let's hope it be it. Because you may never know when the light comes in. We'll see what happens. So Tajic will bring it up for the Mavericks. They lead by four. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. And Jones has it in the corner. Four on the clock. Jones! Jones has got two. Luca Douglas has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they Two minutes remaining in a regulation period. Two minutes. Gafford finds Washington. Here's Doncic. Trail by eight. Murray outside. Gets it from the ball. Murray for three. The competitive nature of Murray making all the difference there. Doing Let's go. To rally his team. Now, here's Dutchich. Jones up top. Dutchich against Murray. And here's Washington outside. Hey. For the Derek Jones Jr. Murray with it. Here's Jokic. Inside. It's stolen by Jones. Gafford with the ball. Now defending by Jokic. To the inside. Stolen by Gordon. And here's the fast break. Jokic leading the way. The dish to Murray. That one is good. Oh, Murray. Straight from the floor with the miss drop. And they go on Jokic. To Murray's game, willing to battle there for the bucket. And here is Doncic. Passes it to Jones. And he gets the intentional foul. Intentional foul. Milo Gordon Jr. It's the first personal foul. First team foul. Against Caldwell Pope. Outside Hardaway. Shoots. 
Shot clock at six. And they go to the intention. Central foul. Carwell Pope. And Purcell. First team foul. Second team foul. Second team foul. Second team foul. Line of Everett. Luca Dawkins. Line for two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven point lead. says now Dallas Mavericks on the wool in the third game of the of the conference semifinals and they are destroying the number one seeded team this was no joke at all because they've been playing at this they've been really like shutting it down already and I can definitely tell you now I mean they've been really like shutting and showing things going in between I mean Denver Nuggets wants to keep on scoring and scoring but it didn't seem like it was going to happen really well because of this one, it didn't really improve all, and so it had to shut everything down. And this is their chance now. If they don't win this game, then they're out of here. The Dallas Mavericks are heading on to the conference finals for the first time, as for the suspension of the first round, 
happened to be against the LA Clippers, and for the last postseason that they missed. And it was not always what they are, but turning really well. But hopefully, this might what they are calling for, if it can get it through. And with the total statistics of the score, here's how they did right in between of the two. As right now, I start things over. Three pointers was only 80% for the Dallas Mavericks, with free throws 86%. Then the other side for Denver Nuggets, they had 14 fast break points with 54 points in the paint and six second chance points. That's definitely at nowhere else to be seen because of that substitution have been turning things lately over it. And fast break points is definitely putting it on the fast record that they are putting up. And that bench of this scoring drops, nothing here because Dallas Mavericks only got 17 with 30 assists in the game for Dallas Mavericks. So they're doing really well. And without a Luka Doncic, without being going to the medical locker room, he's still okay right now. He's not limping. He's not doing anything with the condition. And he's definitely okay right now because he's still alive out there. I mean, dang. I know you could definitely feel like he was all right. Nine defensive rebounds for Denver Nuggets and then 21 defensive rebounds for Dallas Mavericks. And it was four steals for Denver Nuggets and then only three blocks for Dallas Mavericks. What a great job for Daniel Gaffer he did. And that was likely the second that also made a blocking rejection. That was ultimately turned out to be a great defensive effort. Dallas King, whatever. Three turnovers for the Denver Nuggets with three team fouls for Dallas Mavericks and then nine dunks were performed, only one for Dallas. Then eight for the Dallas Mavericks with 17.58, time possession of the game. All right, Terry, I send it over to you for your three star players of the game. You take. All right, thank you so much. I've always been appreciating everyone else. You guys are all making an accomplishment out there. I love you all. <laughs> well, I guess it might be what they they say. I mean, can't lose them out of Starting with three star players of the game. Third star goes to all calling for the name Luka Doncic. Well, I'm going to get it over to the first one happened here. The New Balance player of the game. After suspending him with the bruise ramps, he was okay because he was back on the court. 17 points with 9 rebounds, 12 assists in the game, and only had 6 out of 7 field goals and one three-pointer was made. Just a dunk on the drive, with 44 performance effort. He was okay now. He didn't want to go quitting here. He doesn't want to lose the entire game of the quarters. He wants to keep showing up. Now for your number 2 star, Kyrie Irving. 18 points with 2 rebounds and 6 assists. 7 out of 11 field goals were made. 3 three-pointers. The 30 performance effort. He's still golfing, but he's looking like that Luka Doncic seemed to be okay, but, but hey, the duos doesn't give up here. He always talks to him and says, how's that rib going? And he might be saying, it's coming along well. Hopefully this will stay healthy for me. Well, you'll see what happens. And your number one star, Nikola Jokic. An unbelievable takeover with four dunks, 24 performance effort with only 10 out of the 14 field goals, and only had one steal, two assists, 11 rebounds, and 20 points was his total games in between of the quarters. I can definitely say Luka Doncic must have noted Nikola Jokic has played in for the Serbian team. Both guys played it internationally, but they didn't face each other, unfortunately, so that didn't help out. In the meantime, I guess that turns out to be it. I think it's time to go home now. Yeah, I know. It's running a little bit late. And let's hope that we can get back into tomorrow night and hopefully get, get rested up, get ready for the next game. And also, we'll find out who will win this part of the game of each matchups. Well, I guess so now. I mean, you can definitely say what you ever had. Just make that good. In the meantime, that is it for now. I hope that everybody's enjoying your night. And if you want to see some more um, part of it, check out the previous videos here that I've done here for the last postseasons or the start of the season four here for the postseason of the game here on my NBA 2K Sports playoffs of the completion of each series of the season. Yeah, it's right in my playlist, so you can go ahead and check that one out. I'll have that video up here at the end, so you can watch that one here anytime right under those two between 2020 to 2024. And hopefully by the next part of the year, we'll be underway, and you'll see what will go. Anyway, in the meantime, I hope that everybody is enjoying your game, and we'll see you all again on the other side. See you all later for tomorrow night, and that'll be only two games for 
the Western Conference. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is Terry Crews and Son of Beast, thanking you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Have a great night, everybody, and so long in Dallas, Texas. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.